Today I'm going to show you guys how to have a character with some physics based ponytails in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want is a rigged hair. So here we're using the example of a ponytail and you can see all the bones control everything. Without these bones, this will not work. Okay, so let's say this is your player character. We're going to go to Edit Blueprint. But before you do anything, go to your mesh, double click it, open up the skeleton, and you need to add a socket. This is what's going to hold the ponytail in place. So go to Head, right click, Add Socket, and Save. Now going back to your third person character blueprint, here you're going to uh, add a skeletal mesh. Make sure that it is a um, a child of your character. I'm just going to call it ponytail. And here's where the mesh is going to go, but not quite yet. So first we're going to go ahead and import it. So we're going to import it. Do not select a skeleton. I use TO as reference pose. Um, sometimes that causes issues, but most of the time it fixes issues. Okay, now this is a big problem. You can see I've only got two bones listed, and if you try to simulate this, it's just a mess. But I figured out how to fix this. So uh, go up here to Options and show all bones. Now, hopefully you named your bones better than I did, but um, this is just for an example. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these, and we're going to start from scratch. So bone two is the base bone where we don't want movement. And basically, from this bone onward is where I want them. Actually, from here, because keeping this solid will make the, the physics behave a lot better. Trust me, I've done this. So selecting this entire chain, right click and um, add or replace bodies. There we go. Now this is a little tedious. As you can see, these are rotated the wrong way, uh, but they do function. You can see there, they are for the most part working. Now what we have to do is go in here and rotate each bone to the correct direction. Okay, now with all of these collision capsules selected, we're gonna go down here to the constraints. Select all the constraints down here and then click to skeletal. What this will do, and this is important to know, is it changes the angular limits, specifically your twist motion to 15, which prevents your ponytail from just kinda spinning around and collapsing within itself and breaking, which is not what you want. So I know that the whole other mesh went through the floor, but the ponytail itself is behaving the way we want. Now the last thing we want to do is, once again, with all of these selected, go up here to Physics and change Default to Simulated. Uh, there's two ways to simulate physics. This is the easy one. Let's go ahead and reopen our character blueprint. Now if we go back to Ponytail, go down here and select the hair. Um, I have to resize mine because I had issues. Uh, while, you're while you're trying to do this, it can be really annoying, uh, but select your character and uh, pause anims. That prevents your character from doing his idle movement while you're trying to place the hair. Uh, before you do this though, because you're going to have to redo it if you don't, go to parent socket and you're going to attach it to the head socket we created earlier. If you do not do it that way, you're going to have to do what I just did, where you have to it back now this is where it's just going to line up to your character however it needs to be I'd recommend turning off uh, snapping to 10 units just to make it easier and we'll just stick that on just to have that there and nothing's happening right okay <clears throat> now here's where this gets a little stupid and wonky but let's go back to the character and unpause the animations which will not work in game either so make sure you do that now with your ponytail selected you're gonna have to go down here to collision and you see here it's set to no collision which is why when I simulate nothing happens so I would I usually set it to ragdoll that is a, a pretty good whoops never mind now before 
before you finalize this, I, I made a mistake. Now, I know that the chain starts here. You actually want to go to the bone before it starts and um, add or replace a body. Just add something. It doesn't even matter. Um, I would put it up here so it's not colliding and make sure this is set to default. This is sort of what's going to anchor your physics in place and I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so now going to your character, if you hit simulate, this happens. The reason this is happening is because it's colliding with your actual character uh, capsule. So what we're going to do is selecting the capsule, go down to collision presets and set it to ignore only pawn and now it's working but it's clipping through your character so one more thing we got to do like I said this is stupid now in your character mesh go down to collision presets um, just set it to custom it'll keep all the same settings but here query only set it to no query collisions and now it should Okay, that one didn't work. So, query and physics? Is that the one? Okay, here's what's going on. So, I have it set to ragdoll, but you can see it's ignoring the pawn. So, if we hit it to block, there we go. Okay. So, you can see it's twisting a little bit, but it would twist all the way around if we hadn't changed the settings to what they were. So, with that, and there we go. Bam behaving the way that we want. We got a ponytail, woo! Uh, I made this tutorial because it took me about a year to properly learn this. Um, there's just not a lot of information about it. I hope this helps you guys. And um, yeah, go go make some ponytails and, and hanging bits off your characters and have a great time. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.